I'm Vivian Akiyosui. Welcome to AV1 Express. Today we'll bring you details of the first ever stakeholders review conference on NAFES. That's the National Festival of Arts and Culture. It came up right here in Abuja and it brought together permanent secretaries and commissioners of tourism and cultural ministries from across all 36 states of Nigeria, including the FCT. We'll take a look at sights and sounds of the city right here on the show. Stay with us. The first edition of the National Festival of Arts and Culture, NAFEST, was organized with a view to celebrating our ethnic diversity and cultural unity. Today, 35 years after, the organizers decided to review the goals and objectives of the event bringing together commissioners and permanent secretaries from across all 36 states of the Federation, including the FCT Abuja. In recent times, Nigeria has made significant strides towards economic diversification. Efforts to boost sectors such as agriculture, manufacturing and the services industry have been initiated with the aim of creating a more resilient and diverse economy. However, despite these moves, the nation's economic growth has been seemingly slow, influenced by factors such as fluctuating oil prices, security challenges and policy decisions. Director General of the National Council for Arts and Culture, Otumba Shegun Rusewe, believes Nigeria's culture and tourism sector has what it takes to bring about sustainable development and economic growth in Nigeria. From now, we should tell everybody to know the importance of this sector. It's not a second class sector. In fact, this is the sector that can change the narratives of Nigeria. In order to achieve this goal, he calls for a change in government's perception about the culture and tourism industry. You dare not tell me that this sector is, I mean, junior to another sector, by what chance? Some of you don't even know your value. This is the sector that is bringing peace to Nigeria. And without peace, you can't do anything. <laughs> Over the years, the National Festival for Arts and Culture, NAFEST, has seen various states across Nigeria host the event with delegates from across the nation participating in categories such as drama, dance parade, traditional games, and a lot more. <laughs> The Stakeholders Review Conference, which came up at Chida Hotel Abuja, aims to take NAFES beyond its colors, sights and sound to a revenue-yielding event that impacts on the country's GDP, focusing on Nigeria's culture and tourism sector. With all 36 states, including the FCT, represented at the review conference, eight strategic committees representing the six geopolitical zones of the country were created with the goal of evolving a working document for a cultural and tourism-driven economy. There are some things that we do here that others don't do. There are things they do elsewhere that we don't do here. So now when we, uh, um, when we mix with them, like have a foreign trip to China, Brazil, then you get to learn what they know that you don't know. We have, but we have much more better 
things here that we can give to them, we can offer to them than what they have to offer to us. But the, truth, the problem we have in this country is that we don't believe in ourselves. The tax the team was given is to bring up one product, one state, as in one tourism product in a state. The whole idea is to come up with a communique where it will be presented to the different state governors that we have identified one product and we want you to pull resources together, develop this one product. Let us take that product and begin to sell internationally. That is the concept with that. But the challenge we are having with the team, because for us in Nigeria, each state has <laughs> several products. So now we have a major challenge. Which one do we pick out of the one product? But then again, so it, it's, a, it's an enormous tax. Knowing fully well that Nigeria is so rich and blessed. Each state has so many products, so many tourism products yet on tap. So being able to decide on that one is the challenge that we are facing. For instance, take Dubai tourism now. What do they sell? They sell Dubai. The different product that has been identified in Dubai is what they sell. And because they are selling and marketing that all over the world, it's giving business to their travel agents and their tour operators. But for we, nobody is selling and marketing our products. And that is actually the job of the country. The country is meant to sell and market Nigeria. No private organization should do that. We can only try our best because we are in the business of tourism. We have to sell anyway. But the main duty of promotion, of advertisement, yeah, is Nigeria. That is their job. So once these products are identified and they have been developed and it has become a, pro a, a tourism product, sellable, sellable tourism product. You've just put in more, you have just put more money into our pockets as travel agents and operators because you've given us what to sell. First and foremost, it is not everybody that understands that culture is not just about dance and music. Culture is the totality of the way of life of our people, which means that, uh, technically speaking, nothing is outside the purview of culture. Now, given that, it means that culture is the primary tool for the development of any nation. Culture has the capacity to draw, to even move our people around. Uh, for example, we, we reminded ourselves of the fact that with 36 states in Nigeria and the FCT, that means there are 37 possible hosts of NAFEST. If all the states host one after the other without any repetition, it means that as we are in FCT today, our next opportunity is in about 37 or 38 years time. That is very significant because it means that the generation that sees NAFES this year, the generation that follows it will not have the, that opportunity. Uh, on the other hand, it also implies that in each state, a generation sees NAFES and they experience the, our culture in a totality as against experiencing aspects of it. Now that is an opportunity that should never be underplayed. Therefore, we are calling on the cultural sector to make sure that once they enter a state, they make the maximum impact in terms of drawing people to NAFEST. Let us not have a NAFEST that is attended primarily by people who are already occupationally uh, committed to culture, people who are uh, already professionals in the area. No. Let us have a situation in which students, politicians and other market women regard NAFEST as an event and participate in it fully. And at the end of the day, they evolved a working document for developing the culture and tourism sector endorsed by each state's representative. The communique was presented and read by the drafting committee chairman, Dr. Gerald Adewole, and will be sent to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, governors of the 36 states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, for immediate implementation. Complex of that that liberty technology and new marketing presents a pivotal opportunity, opportunity to project the cultural sector to higher heights. Consequently, it was recommended that the sector should develop, ma develop a marketing mindset to ensure adequate marketing of identified cultural products to attract relevant funding. Identified products should be properly packaged for presentation and sellability. 
Highlights of the event was an awards session where individual states as well as dignitaries were recognized for their roles and contributions to NAFIST over the years. Congratulations, sir. Former Director, General National Council for Arts and Culture, receiving an award today. My boss says you must recognize people who have set the pace, people who have done well, and that's what he's doing now. The DG National Council for Arts and Culture, in person, Otumba, Rensoe, the elder staff, of the National Council for Arts and Culture that are able to work together as a team to put up this wonderful innovation in the history of the National Council for Arts and Culture. Indeed, I am overwhelmed. But I want to believe and culture, and particularly Nafes, with persons or CEOs like Otunga Rinshawe, in fact, the sky will be the limit. A major feature at every NAFEST event is an array of colors, a display of arts and entertainment, and a rhythm of sounds that leaves you with an experience you don't forget in a long time. Enjoy.
This event is one of the most interesting moments we have ever had in, in terms of this government uh, since the inception of NAFES. Uh, and I always say that uh, it has redirected our mentality and our understanding. It has given us hope. It has given us uh, uh, an anticipation that we can change this nation if we are able to develop uh, culture and arts, crafts and tourism together. And I, I, I see that this uh, uh, stakeholders meeting has brought us together to understand the power, the, the importance and the significance of the ministry uh, that uh, with the role it will play in terms of economic development and the development of this nation. The, this this, this uh, program has also developed our mentality on what we can do uh, as terms of uh, stakeholders that are in the forefront in culture and, and, and tourism. This uh, uh, program has also given us um, a very good clue to know the synergy between culture and tourism, that these uh, programs can move together in order to move this. If I I've also understand that we, in the near future, if we developed our strategies together, we, can, we, we may easily forget about uh, fuel and whatever and come back to a natural way. This program has also uh, enlightened us that we need to, to understand our origin and see how we can explore our origin instead of accepting the foreign culture. Uh, this, this, this program has also introduced to us that unity lies in, culture, uh, in cultural activities. And uh, we, if, if, if we take it so significantly and explore our culture and build people together, we can find peace in that. And all the trouble we see around Nigeria to whoever and killings will not be there because I relate with the Igbos, I relate with Yoruba, I relate with different kinds of tribes and we form to be one. That's why if you look at me, I have uh, the, uh, the beast that belongs to Igbo and uh, this one belongs to uh, Nigeria. I have this one, it's one of the biggest tribes in Nigeria where my wife is coming from. And I have this where my tribe is coming from, from Taraba State. So I try to understand that culture has brought us together and we can forget our differences and find ourselves to be one. So this stakeholders meeting has redirected our mentality that we have very big thing to unveil and, uh, in culture. NAFES is to promote the cultural heritages of Nigeria and make sure it keeps uniting, keeps keeping the peace and keep uh, um, informing and entertaining the people. And so when we bring all these forces together, when we bring all the ideas that we have shared together, I think it will be a wonderful thing. Next oil boom we have in Nigeria is culture. There is no doubt. So to diversify the economy, government must begin to look into culture and enhance the productivity in culture, enhance whatever the budgeting, the activities, whatever thing that is needed to enhance culture. That's what every government should be into now. And we can see that everywhere, uh, all the shops that I've been to, is so designed that wherever you want to get whatever, you go there. There's the North East, there's the North West, there's the South South, everywhere. But I think what is a little lucky here, which I think is still work in process, is that which is very unique to the people of Yobe, and I promise that henceforth, before another night fest, we are really going to stock a shop here with the good items, cultural items coming from like Yobe. What? Like we have the, um, this, my attire is very, very what is it called, unique. Lupaya? It is called Lupaya. 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 So the, the ladies wrap themselves with it. It's a way of, um, you know, keeping yourself homely, protected and also modeled. So we have this lupaya and then we have our own unique tie and dyes that the men and women wear and once you see them you know that no, these what people are Yobians. 
It is called Babanriga. Babanriga? Yes, it's Babanriga with its own uh, embroidery too, but uniquely made for the audience. And then because coming from there too, it's not just that or the fire. We have so many tribes in, in Yobe that if we begin to bring them here, who might not go? There are a lot of them, but we want to see them visible in like this. How many? More than 30 something. Different, both large and small, small tribes, as well as their cultural outfits. So, this, when we bring them for, you will now know that, yes, culture has a lot in stock. Yeah. Thank you so much, madam. Thank you very Thank much. You. Yes. And that's how far we go on this episode of the show. If you have any question about what you have seen, do contact us. The details are on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'm Vivian Akinyosui. Bye-bye.